Hey everybody, this is Joe over at Synergy17, and um, today I'm going to show you how to do that new, I don't know if it's really new, but that effect that people like to see, that scatter or broken effect. Um, I've seen people take it different ways to do, uh, achieve the same result, but this way I think is uh, kind of simple, but um, I'll show you a, a quick way to, to try this out. So as you can see here, I already have a pattern that I made, and I'll show you how I made that. Basically, I'm going to go here and choose um, the pin. I'm just going to make three points here, 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 and then back to here again. So I have one of the blades. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to duplicate that. And I'm going to spin it this way and put it right there. Line up the tips. So I'm going to do that again. Control D, sorry, Control D, do it again. Control D, Control D. And you can do this as many times as you want. It just depends on how you want your scatter to be. Um, so just keep on doing that. And I, I will remove some of these when I'm done. So you have something that looks like this. And they're not all, at the, the tips aren't at the uh, center. It doesn't have to be. Uh, you can do that if you want. You can line these all up. But uh, for this example, I really it really doesn't matter. So what I want to do is I'm going to remove some of them. I'm going to take this guy out. Uh, I'll take this guy out and this one out. Now I'm going to highlight them all, and I'm going to uh, basically weld them together. So now if I zoom in here, they're all kind of one piece. You can see that they're all one piece. So I can make it a color. And now uh, another thing is it depends on how you want your scatter. You could have it, uh, thicker pieces missing or thinner pieces missing out of your word. Um, I like it when it's thinner. So I just double click on it or you can choose your shape tool here and just grab these uh, nodes and just thin them out. You can make some shorter, longer. You're just making little blades is all you're doing. So, you know, if you want really small ones. up to you and in my other example you can leave more in there if you want more or less okay so now that's that's done like I said I have one here that has more than I did earlier and here's one that doesn't have as many now I'll just take your text and get that set to size this one's about nine inches right here uh, something else you want to do is uh, a thicker font actually looks pretty cool so uh, just choose something that's thick I'll use uh, impact. Um, now, it really depends how you want to do this. Um, I'm going to just use it three times. I'm going to use the text three times. So I'm going to hit Control D to duplicate that. But this time, I'm going to make it. I'm going to hold the Shift key and make it a little bit bigger than the first one. So this one's a little bigger than this one. I'm going to hit Control D and duplicate that again. Put it down below. I'm going to. Oops. Hold on. Let me undo that. I'm going to duplicate that one, and I'm going to highlight them all, hit C to center them so they're all um, centered. I'm going to take this. Now, this is the thing. Some people will separate it to create space. Um, I like it when it touches a little bit. So I'm going to leave mine like that. And now you take the shape you made. I'm going to shrink it down. So it's going to be kind of like right here. Now, what, one thing I want to do is I want to highlight all this because it's still text. So um, you don't have to do this step, but I'm going to duplicate that so I have a copy just to show you what the other effect looks like. So I'm going to highlight this, right click, I'm going to convert it to curves, and then I'm going to right click and combine it. So it's all one piece. I'm going to take this piece, put it on top, and personal preference, you can um, do front minus back or back minus front. So I'm going to highlight this, and since this red part is in the back, I'm going to do a front minus back, which is up here. Intersect, simplify, front minus back. And as you can see, it achieves that same type of look. Now, if it doesn't have enough shatter, you can do the same thing. Let me right click on this one. Or if you want it more spread out, you can you know, move, your, move your text down a little bit, move that one up a little bit. I said personal preference. I'm going to right click, 
convert to curves, combine, and here's the other shape I made. This one has more blades on it. So, same thing. Highlight the whole thing, and then uh, front minus back. And this one, you can see, it has more blades, so you have more of a shatter effect. But it's, it's pretty basic, you know. Uh, take your text, set it up the way you want, you know, if you want this one bigger. If you want these to be the same size, um, see if I try another one. They were the same size. Oops, look like this. that too. So you want to, like I said, right click, uh, convert to curves, right click, combine. I want a copy of that because I need to use that again. And highlight the whole thing and then you could do a front minus back and that's with them being straight up the line. Um, and then you can make this one big or you can make this one smaller. This is really up to you. I'll make it bigger. Make the same thing with this one, make this one bigger. Take that part. Oops. Highlight, right click, convert to curves, combine, take this guy, front minus the back, and that's how to do that. So it's pretty simple. Just basically take that shape, make your blades, um, put your text there, and, and subtract it. That's it.